Hey YouTube, Eric the Raider here. Welcome to my channel where I review products for the common man. Today I'm going to be reviewing a list of products that I bring on my person when I'm out and about. Uh, before I do that, I ask you guys to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on that notification and hit that like button. Let's get into this. Okay guys, the first product is my wallet. It's, uh, it's from Dango. Um, this is an M1 Maverick. All their wallets are customizable, including this one. Um, this material is a Mtex is made from. The, the frame around is metal, aluminum, um, seracoded in OD green. On the outside, if you notice, you have pockets for cards or um, IDs or whatever you want to put on it. On the back side of it, same thing. You have compartments for cards, business cards, or whatever you want to put in it. On the inside, you have more storage area where you could put additional cards or ID or driver's license. On this side, it has a silicone band where you could put your, your money in, and then it comes with a multi multi tool. You could do a slew of different, you could use it for a slew of different things if you want to. Um, it's basic. When I got it, I got it with the tether, which it keeps it on me so it doesn't so I don't lose it. All right, so basic the M1 Maverick, nice strong, strong material. It, you have an option where you could get leather in this also, so it's a, it's very customizable. I like it. The next thing is my cell phone. Um, of course, I carry a cell phone. Everyone carries a cell phone, but the case that I have it in is a Rock Farm, um, rugged case for iPhone. I carry iPhone 11. So they have a couple of different options, a couple of different series of cases, but I chose the rugged form. I chose the rock form because it, everything that's hooked up into my car or my motorcycle, it's a rock form uh, mount. So this goes, this complements these, these items that I have in my vehicle and my motorcycle. Strong case, haven't failed me yet, and a great company. Next in line is a, is a knife, a pocket knife. It, this is from Benchmade. I tried to find like the name of it, but I, I couldn't find it. I, I don't know much about knives. This was gifted to me by a good friend of mine. Um, Benchmade, the company itself, I think it's a great company. The reason why, because I end up damaging this knife. This knife is pretty used, but I damaged it a little bit. Um, and I was hesitant to send it in. I end up sending it in and within two weeks, I. I uh, received it back, fixed, sharpened, um, awesome. Uh, so the company itself, in itself, is a good company. Um, but again, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure what's the brand or the, what's the series of style on this knife. So if anyone could um, let me know how to find that information, that would be much appreciated. Um, it's a pocket knife, but the company is a good company. Right. Our uh, next in line is is something that um, a lot of people, I guess, don't think about um, not so much anymore. But thought about it, and I figured, let, let me get something. It's a pen, a writing pen. Um, I wanted a nice pen that I could bring with me, pretty much anywhere, whether whether I'm dressing up or dressing casual or whatever. So I wanted. I look looked around, and I found a pen. It's from um, Vulcan. It's a Vulcan titanium bolt action pen. Um, this one is in, I gotta look at the screen here, space black. Um, it's a pretty nice pen. Um, the ink that it came with, it finished within a month. Um, so I ended up getting, it's a Fisher space, space pen ink, number PR4. Um, this is the ink that I got that I end up purchasing later on after the first one that it came with finish. Um, like the pen, it's very smooth. Um, it comes with a, a glass breaker, which is you know useful. Um, the only thing I don't really like about it is the the clip. The clip tends to turn. It loosens up on the top and it turns and it blocks the the bolt action. So when you're ready to repocket it, this might be an issue. Um, that's the only thing that I don't like 
Uh, that's the only gripe I have with it. Other than that, pen, pen works wonderful and it does its job. It's very solid, heavy, I like it. You know, every day I bring this in my pocket because you never know when you need a pen. All right. All right, so the next thing on the list is a watch. All right, um, it's my uh, Garmin uh, Tactics Bravo. It's an older version. They have like Tactics that cost like eight hundred dollars now. It's crazy. Um, this one, I, this watch, I had probably more than five years now. Use it for everything. I do a lot of workout, and this is my go-to watch. It doesn't have a heart rate monitor on the back, so every time I work out, I have to put a chest um, heart rate monitor on my chest, and um, it works. It's 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 something I use every day. I have it on every day. I monitor my fitness. Um, it's a it's my go-to watch. It's the only watch I have, um, but I have it on every time I go out. All right, Garmin Tactics Bravo. All right. All right, last but not least is the slide belt, the Survival 2.0. I did a review on this um, prior getting into details as far as what's on in this um, belt. You could check that out on your leisure. Um, but if I do have a pants with loops in it that I need that's required belt, this is my go-to belt um, that I go that I pretty much go with. All right, the slide belt Survival 2.0. All right. That's all the items that I usually have on my person, whether I'm in a sweatpants or 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 pants with a belt, then I'll go with that. Um, till next time, guys, I appreciate uh, all the support. Um, just remember to turn on your notification and and watch out for more upcoming video. I have a lot more contents coming up um, in the future. And again, thank you guys for, for watching and have a blessed day.